What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We are finalizing Kodo's control panel. Real quick in this one, we're gonna connect the speakers. We're gonna actually solder in the on and off switch. And we're gonna put the RK1 up plastic piece on it and call it a day. So now again, real quick, this is the last part of this. This is finalizing little bitty details. We're gonna knock out the speaker on this. I'm gonna show you how we can do it. We're gonna actually hardwire, hard solder the on and off switch to the Pandora's box six. Um, so let's bring you in depth, in closer. But first thing we're gonna do is the speaker. Let's fix the speaker on this. Now the one thing I did notice, unfortunately, with the arcade one up to the Pandora's box, the volume control uh, will not work as far as low and then high it'll only do on and off uh, if you do connect to a raspberry pi you could make it work but for this certain situation it won't work it's either going to be blaringly loud because we have two speakers on this or it's just going to be off so uh kodo said it's fine we're just going to do an on and off thing that's really the only option i have unless you do hdmi to your tv so that's the only way as far as audio wise so Let's bring you in closer. Basically, we're going to re-solder these and um, we're going to bring it into the uh, actual control panel. Okay, so first thing that we need to do, um, I mean, it's not really how it's supposed to be set, especially with stereo mods. I mean, stereo speaker sound. But really, we're going to connect this speaker to this speaker. And then we're going to take the yellow ends. We're going to re-solder just to make sure they're tougher. And the yellow ends are going to go into the switch here. So in reality, I mean, this is just gonna turn on together. This isn't 2.1 sound, this is just one sound, mono. It's really mono, just one speaker, but it's two speakers it's doing the same thing. So there's no left and right like switching going on. So as you can see right now on my old one, the wires came off. We're gonna re-solder, connect it to here. So there's gonna be one straight wire going to this. And then this one here is gonna give power to both speakers. Okay guys, so I'm gonna bring you in closer, but real quick, just check it out. I already soldered the speaker end in. I literally put solder right on the edge of it. I'm gonna bring you closer and show you again. These wires right here are stock RK1 up. I'm not gonna cut these, but these are going into the Pandora's box. Audio, okay, real quick. I re-soldered this, so now this wire is really in there. We're gonna hot glue it, but I'm gonna basically, I'm gonna basically solder in now the speaker wire and I'm gonna re-solder the plug. I'm gonna re-solder the power um, switch. So you can see how I did that real quick. But let's finish up the speaker mod here. Basically, I'm gonna bring you in close. So I have my speakers here. I have the switch on now. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give speaker uh, the red here and we're gonna solder this end here on the right and it will give us some tunes. Let's put on Street Fighter, again, the switch is on right now, so I'm gonna solder this in and solder that. So we got that real quick, let me show you guys. I mean, again, I should wear like a GoPro on my head, right? <laughs> but basically, I'm gonna take this end already spliced. I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna do it real quick, not to waste any time. Um, I don't have a free hand, so I'm gonna basically try to keep this up. Basically, right now, we're going to take this end. We're going to add some solder, as you can see there. Be careful when you solder. This wire does get extremely hot. And again, this is a tiny wire. Again, soldering both points. So we got one and two. If I, I, sh I don't have the holder. <laughs> I ghetto rig everything, so I don't have the holder. I don't want to touch the bubble wrap. We don't want to melt bubble wrap but the solder is in on that and now real quick let me see if i can get this in to frame i know it's gonna be blurry in the camera but basically right now i'm gonna solder this point right here bare wire bare kind of clipping to it and basically you can see it actually we're gonna take this and make sure we're not touching anything else we're just gonna put a dab on that and that is soldered right there doesn't matter which end we do I'm gonna take one end of the speaker. I'm gonna reheat it. Make sure we don't touch the plastic on this. I'm gonna do it on this end here. 
The wire does get extremely hot and I should have worn a glove. But basically now that is soldered in. Amazing what solder does. That's in. And now we're gonna take the second one and we're gonna connect it right into here. As you can see, I already have solder on this. I right now don't have a game playing so you can't hear anything. I do actually wanna keep this straight. Let me keep this wire straight. In reality, I could just kind of wrap this around this red, but we already got the soldering iron. We already got the soldering iron out, so we might as well just hard solder it in. Make sure it's not touching any other connection. Let it cool off, and basically now that's in. This is in. I could literally even shake the control panel. We will still hot glue it. Let's press start. We got one. Just to show you. Off again. Only on and off. That's it. Speaker mod done on this. Now we have to take a wire and bring it to right across. So real quick, just grab some 18-2. Wired this ran it along the bottom and then connected it here basically now we are hardwired got speaker right and we got speaker left that is it speaker done on this last thing i'm going to show you guys is the power switch real quick guys i'm going to hardwire now the um power switch basically from the top view we're doing this one and this one. One and two. It looks like Kodo already tried to maybe solder it. But real quick again, I'm going to show you guys what basically I'm doing. I just want to make sure the camera's in focus. I know it's difficult. Let me run it down. Okay, so now we got that. Basically, real quick, we're going to do a pre-solder. So this already has solder. It looks like Kodo already tried to solder this. So we're just going to lighten that up. And we're going to put a bead of solder onto this one here nothing too crazy as you can see there i'm gonna put a dab of solder inside of the actual micro switch itself i'm just trying to do it to show you guys so i really don't want to get close to the plug but basically all we're going to do is going to make sure that solder falls into this just like so so check that out see that that's going to be done let's not make that touch yet I'm going to bring up the second one. So now I'm going to take this solder now. I'm going to fill in this here. Basically, there you go. You see that? Filling it on in. Basically, now again, I'm going to reheat this and my head here. And now that's hot. I got one in. We're in. Look at this. I'm pulling it up. We're in. That is it, that was a little bit of a challenge. And those boxes wired to the power switch is very short. So now we connected it here. And now again, switch is off. And now we are on. So on and off switch, hardwired and soldered. Look at that. Literally tight, doesn't come out. We are gonna hot glue this so it's in. We got our speakers, let's make sure that works. Let's see if there's any kind of cool tunes while. And those boxes. That's it. We're done. We're gonna get the plastic on this. We're done. Officially done. Kodo, buddy. I'm gonna send this to you very soon. This thing is pretty loud. <laughs> like, cannot lie, it is pretty loud. Let's load up some Mortal Kombat 3. Let's check it out real quick. Let's see what's up with this Mortal Kombat 3. If it plays, it should play. Not too bad. This also does have for Kodo. Uh, we do have LED buttons on this. So, buddy, just so you know, you do have. I'm gonna have a ball of it at the end of it. Hmm. It's 
me, Jumbo. Ladies and gentlemen, after about 10 minutes of making sure we hot glue everything, check this out. Kodo. Dun 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 dun. We literally have this is beautiful. Pandora's box six screwed right to the plastic. Plastic housing fits. Yes, that's not supposed to be there because that is a modification. But real quick, basically Kodo's gonna get this in the mail and he will literally just have to drop this in. Real quick, let's get ready. I again have this set with the VGA. He might have it on HDMI. Again, take a look. We are gonna put our VGA in. I'm doing this one-handed. We got our VGA connected. You could also do HDMI to this. And basically right now I do have my arcade power supply. Check it out real quick. LED buttons, this is not going to Kodo. Kodo, you're not gonna get this, buddy. But basically you could just wire up your LED buttons just to show you, everything here is set. We're gonna take now our pigtail, which Kodo has inside of his RK1 up. We're gonna plug this bad boy in, and we're gonna flip the switch. Take a look, Pandora's box is booting up. Set volume rocker switch on. Let's do a quick test. So again, unfortunately the volume is just on and off. Um, you do need like a kind of computer kind of coding thing to it. I left everything inside, but luckily with shipping now with the plastic, there's no need to worry. Let's do it guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna load up some Street Fighter, any Street Fighter we want, Championship Edition. We have this set to free play for Kodo. We're gonna add, oh, I didn't show you guys the coin thing. I'm sorry. Basically, you just got to take a coin and jump it. I'll do that for another video. I already closed it up. But real quick, we're going to select our Ryu. We're going to select our Ken. We're going to make sure that our 12 buttons work. Put on the volume. Round one. Fight. Basic test. Right. Up. Down. Left. Right. Up. Down. Good. Right. Left. Up. Down. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I cannot do it with the Pandora's box, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that is it. That is a sign. It's going to be a good delivery. Kodo, man, this is going out to you, buddy. Um, I'm going to actually, real quick for you, buddy, I'm going to open this up again. And I'm going to put the coin stickers on this. Ladies and gentlemen, Pandora's box, ultimate, portable, look at this, literally mounted, ready to go. This is set, buddy. We are good to go. All right, guys, check it out real quick. Now we are officially done with this build real quick. We got our coin stickers inside of this. I didn't do the player buttons because it looked kind of dumb having, you know, one and one. Uh, but real quick, check this out again. Pandora's box bolted to the control deck it's not gonna go anywhere but check out what we did basically once he plugs in his power supply boom leds are connected internally inside of here so all kodo has to do is literally supply the power check it out this will be the power pigtail you literally give it power now the leds do stay on whether you have the Pandora's box on or not. So real quick, we're gonna flip the switch. We got our green LEDs on. I got my TV mounted. I literally just, like Kodo messaged me and I showed him the pictures and I was like, oh my God, maybe I could get LED buttons to power on with the Pandora's box. And what do you know, we're gonna turn on the volume. Pandora box six. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Pandora's box six. RK one up control panel mailed to us from Puerto Rico LED button supplied by game room solutions We got the volume on and off. I know it's not the volume low medium high whatever you want to call it And we have the on and off switch on this. This is set ladies and gentlemen again I'm gonna disconnect this. I'm gonna take out my VGA and literally check this out 
No lie, I don't want to scratch the paint, but look at that. We have everything mounted to this. We're gonna make sure we tape everything down so in transport, it will be set. But Kodo, buddy, this is set. It will be mailed out Monday. Sometimes I amaze myself, guys. I'm just amazed. This is great, literally set. This is set, we're done.